We saw uh, peaceful protests uh, initially uh, against the uh, extradition proposals, but the peaceful protest movement was hijacked uh, by fanatics. Uh, and uh, these are people who are prepared to use violence uh, in order to uh, make their points and, as they see it, uh, achieve their ends. Uh, these are people who have uh, no regard for the rights of others, uh, for th and, and basically they're declaring war on society. The police have exercised massive restraint. They've only moved to regularise the situations when they've actually been attacked and when uh, all demands for the protesters to, to back off have been ignored. Just imagine if the United Kingdom Parliament had been evaded by a mob as well, or the United States Congress. The, uh, the, the, the police would have struck very hard indeed on anyone who'd been involved. Uh, they've acted in the highest traditions of the, of the police force, and I'm very proud of them. These are, of course, uh, a highly uh, irrational comments uh, to make. Hong Kong enjoys a high degree of autonomy. Uh, Beijing has been scrupulous in maintaining the uh, Hong Kong legal system and its way of life and its capitalist uh, system. Uh, and we're all very fortunate, indeed, that uh, it has been able to continue in that way. So for the Secretary of State, Mr Pompeo, to say that is, is purely anti-China rhetoric, which actually has no basis in reality.